Title, Jury Threatening Reverend? White supremacist cuffed for creeping on Pittsburgh synagogue shooting trial. TL, DR, Hardy Carol Lloyd, 45, self-proclaimed reverend of a white supremacy movement, has been arrested for his scary threats against the jurors and witnesses of the high-profile Pittsburgh synagogue shooter trial. Accused of making threats through social media, comments, and emails, Lloyd could be looking at 35 years behind bars. Now, who said stickers couldn't be menacing? Disclaimer, this article does not provide legal advice and is for informational purposes only. All opinions and expressions are those of turned up news and are meant for entertainment. The Creepy Tale of Threats Ever heard of a threatening sticker? Meet Hardy Carol Lloyd, the 45-year-old white supremacist who allegedly didn't just stop at social media threats. According to the charges, this man went above and beyond, slapping stickers around Jewish neighborhoods in Pittsburgh that guided people to his discriminative online threats. Now, is that innovative or just plain creepy? Lloyd was charged with obstruction of justice, transmitting threats across state lines, and witness tampering, all bundled together to a possible 35-year prison sentence. We're talking about a guy who warned jurors with statements like we will be watching and we will be taking pictures of all cars and people who leave the courthouse. Talk about taking the Big Brother role seriously. The trial and the turmoil. The trial at the heart of this drama. None other than the deadliest attack on Jewish people in U.S. history. Robert Bowers, the culprit, went on a rampage at the Tree of Life Synagogue, killing 11 innocent souls and injuring six. With Lloyd threatening the jurors who recommended the death sentence, the question remains, was he just spewing online hate or planning something more sinister? A reverend with a past. But wait, Lloyd isn't just your run-of-the-mill keyboard warrior. This self-proclaimed reverend of a white supremacy movement has been in hot waters before, and not just for his steamy bath choices. He was once wanted by authorities for promising to carry a firearm onto state capitol grounds, challenging any officer daring to enforce against him. Brave or bonkers? You decide. What's next? Prosecutors are still keeping mum about Lloyd's arraignment date, with the FBI continuing its investigation. Meanwhile, communities breathe a sigh of relief as the sticker threat reverend takes a time out behind bars. But this leaves us wondering, how deep does the rabbit hole of online threats go, and what new methods will we uncover next? Parting thoughts. This twisted tale of online menace, wrapped up in the tragic backdrop of a devastating hate crime, raises eyebrows and questions alike. In an age where online threats are becoming as common as cat memes, should we be taking these expressions more seriously or brush them aside as digital graffiti? What's your take on the situation, dear readers? Should online threats be treated with the gravity of physical crimes, or are we just overreacting to trolls hiding behind keyboards? Let's see what you think.